Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Bell booth at CES. And this is by far the most futuristic product here. This is the first flying taxi by a company called Bell. Bell Labs has been uh, known to produce some pretty amazing scientific, futuristic sci-fi tech. And this is just one of their uh, concepts on demo over here. Now, this is what is called a VTOL. And I'm just gonna give you a tour around this whole thing. Um, this, these are blades for propulsion, of course, for rising. And, uh, oops, I'm sorry, sorry. There we go. So, and it has, interestingly, it has three uh, engines on each side. Two on the back over here, two on the very front and two on the center. So it's, they're actually not in a line. If you see, uh, sorry, the camera kind of went on the fritz there, but they're actually arranged in a, around, essentially around the a perimeter of a circle. So they complete a circle so that the uh, that's how they probably get off the ground and that's essentially how they're also able to uh, you know change directions mid flight I mean basically the idea of being able to steer this would be that if each of these engines could be controlled independently these thrusters could be controlled independently of each other so that the exact and precise kind of um, directionality could be achieved it is very, very impressive. And if you think about it, it actually looks like a helicopter, just a much larger version of it with more propulsion uh, blades and trippy LED lights. So we're gonna now get in line to go inside this and see exactly what it is like on the inside. So stay tuned. So this is the inside of Bell's flying vehicle, the VTOL, which is, it seats, uh, five people actually four people and the fifth one is the pilot right in front over there and we'll try and get you a view of the cockpit as well in a bit there's a lot of uh, blue lighting the finish is premium as of now this uh, vehicle this particular one that we are sitting in is only a prototype it's not the final version it's actually an earlier design from what Bell has in place right now so gonna be a while before uh, you know this becomes a final product so keep moving forward and there's the controls here I'm assuming that's an air-conditioned duct but there is plenty of screens in the front a light on top and uh, the funny thing is Funny thing is, I don't see any seat belts. Can we go with that? Yes, I will move. It's actually pretty spacious to drive. There's a light up there. Yeah. Okay. And um, so the idea is that you will have yeah. a lot of controls. You'll have camera feedback on the display. You'll have, of course, the entire flight data, telemetry, speed, altitude, all of that happening as well. So, oops. that's all right. I'm going to put it in the front and see what this is like so for the pilot it's a single pilot vehicle of course and just uh, displays no no it's all right and fairly compact so <clears throat> so yeah now we're going to be getting a quick demo of how these propellers are actually going to move uh when the aircraft is in flight now interestingly this is one of the pr this is one of the earlier prototypes from bell labs um, not the one that they're currently working on and I'm told that the first commercial um, availability of a plane like this aircraft whatever like this is expected to be somewhere around 2025 part of the reason is that the current prototype is still undergoing wind tunnel testing at a large scale and the cockpit is going uh, wind tunnel testing at a smaller scale so 
they still have to do flight tests which will take uh, i'm told a long time and following that there will also be regulation regulatory uh, issues so essentially nothing before 2025 so that's basically about six more years six to seven more years uh, to get these flying taxis of course the question will always be uh, or rather the question right now is how commercially viable would it be would it be like you can just take one of these flying taxis as an uber maybe do an uber go kind of a thing you also have to think about oh look at that that's how these wings will move they will move all independent of each other well they can um they can become completely vertical as well so the vertical is to essentially give uh, forward thrust and um, and as you can see that the propellers are not in a single line and that i'm told is because this particular design helps with better stability of the aircraft and better maneuverability in, of the aircraft in air so yeah so that's your first look guys at the world's first flying taxi or or rather a flying commercial vehicle or whatever right because that's probably what this is going to end up being a taxi so thank you guys for watching this video in case you liked it make sure to hit the like and subscribe button on our channel and stay tuned for more coverage from CES